Today we're going to be talking about our new garden collection product, the Flint Garden. We know that the whole living, outdoor living, is becoming more and more relevant for everyone. People moving outdoor, using the outdoor space, almost like an extension of the interior. Going outdoor, having lighting, having dim lighting at night, in the evening, as the sunset comes down, and then extending the day with friends and family, outdoor, dinner and play. So when we had a family like the Flint Bollard and the Flint Wall, we thought it was natural to move that into the garden, an outdoor living segment. An outdoor environment is typically seen in the daytime when things are off, when lighting is off. So first of all, it's about creating something that's almost a sculptural piece that will sit nicely within that outdoor environment, even in the daytime. Sunlight will create play of shadow and light in the product and the geometry. And at night, when the sun comes down and the light is dimmed, the light will come up and show exactly the same geometry in a new way with artificial lighting. It will bring out accents in the garden, landscape or roof terraces, allowing you to explore and feel comfortable in the outdoor space at night. So the Poles already have several heritage products within this segment, but this is more of a mutton take. It's a full family we can now bring out into this outdoor living area. Christian Flynn, the awarded designer, carved out in a stick and created that geometry that emphasizes design to shape light so well. It's almost like the epitome of design to shape light. You carve out a shape that becomes a reflector, it becomes the design. It's everything we want from a product. So the Flint Garden is a scaled down version. Having the same emphasis on the gracing of light on the, on the inside here of the carving, the sharp transition from that gracing of light to the transition to the outside, a slimmer version of the bollard that you already know for more urban environment. As this has to go into more of a B2C environment, landscape, hospitality, it was about scaling down in diameter, but also scaling down in heights, giving the options of a short version and a taller version, depending on whether it has to illuminate a path or whether you just have to create accents maybe in a flower bed, or depending on what's growing next to it and the height of the surrounding furniture. It was important for us that the design had to look the same. The family relation between the bollard and the family relation towards the flint wall. So the simplicity had to be kept. At the same time, building a modular system that could go into many applications was important for us. In terms of the light, it's there to create a patch of light in front of it. It's not as asymmetrical as the first bollard uh, for the urban environment, but because of the carving on one side, it's gonna give you a 180 degree distribution of light. A patch of light that allows you to see accents, allows you to see a path fine and clearly. The height of it obviously means the extent of the light will go further if you go for the taller version. That's completely up to the customer. The temperature of the light will go from warm to cold depending on what options you choose. The light distribution coming from a flint garden is very simple. The carving creates a reflector, reflecting the light outwards in an asymmetrical manner, 180 degrees. One LED in the top pushes the light downwards, meaning that you're never going to get a direct view of LED and there's going to be no glare. It's all about designing to shape light and the flint garden does exactly that. Hiding the light source, showing where the light is coming from, gracing the light along the reflector, and then reflecting it outwards as a combination of direct light and reflected light, creating really soft shadows. The Flint Garden is built up in a modular system. It allows you to build your Flint Garden exactly as you need it. First of all, it starts with the adapter unit. The adapter unit is one unit with adapter box that has to be mounted onto the wall near the power, and that will allow you to run up to six bollards. Then you have to decide how to mount it. First of all, you have the options of mounting it with a spike straight into the ground. It's a plug and play solution. You can also choose an anchor. The anchor will have to be cast into concrete typically. It's a fixed installation solution. Finally, we have the option of using the base plate, fixed installation, and on top of the base plate, we'll have the cover. Then you have to choose a height. You've got the short version, or the tall version. Short version obviously has the short post and the taller has the longer post. On top of the post, you have the light head. 
The light head is exactly the same regardless of what height you choose. It's always the same height. For the spike solution, you'll have extension cables on top ground to connect the different bollards using a T connector to connect the different ones. You have a choice of color, for the Cortain color, the warm glow from that color, or you can go with an aluminum color. Custom colors is available, but you have to contact Lou Paulson. Color temperature of the LED will be 2,700 Kelvin, 3,000 Kelvin, or 4,000 Kelvin. We see many applications for the Flint Garden. One thing is obviously the B2C channel where it becomes path lighting, or the garden lighting, and the outdoor living. Hospitality is really important as well. Bringing customers outdoor is more relevant now than ever, really. Bringing out in roof terraces, where the short version will work well in a planter bed that's sitting taller, or right down the roof terrace level where you can sit next to it without getting sort of too close to the light source. It could work really well as you're sitting inside a cafe or restaurant looking out on the landscape. Walking through the hotel garden, roof terraces, walking uh, into smaller areas of, of restaurants and urban environments, or even headquarters uh, walking towards the, from the parking lot towards the main building. These are really important applications where you want to create accents that create a really beautiful and nice atmosphere to be outdoor. Being active outdoor and bringing everything outdoor, living, dining and getting together is really, really relevant these days.